Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Demon Slayer 33 and I'm here to do some do the I'm here to finish off the spirit of forgiveness. Okay, we on part seven. Okay, this is titled The Holy Spirit and Forgiveness. The law of first mission is a simple name for the moment when God introduced a promise or act that would continue throughout time. That first mission sets an order that will be continually repeated both in pattern and in manipulation. In Genesis, we see creation being brought forth all the way through to Adam and Eve, with the Lord blessing and saying to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. See? With the rest of monsters. Watch the movie Doom. Hey, you like Doom? Genesis 1 for me. What had come first now could come second and third and so forth. Jesus' restoration is called the firstborn, first, the firstborn among many brethren. Romans 8.29 This means that in his restoration we are now being conformed into his image. Okay. In the new covenant, Jesus sent his disciples forth after his restoration by breathing the Holy Spirit on them and giving them authority both to remit and to retain sins. He breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. John 20, 22-23 on the day of Pentecost, Peter proclaimed Jesus and directed all to repent. Be baptized for the remission of sins and to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children. And to all who are far off, as many as the Lord our God, God will call. See, I said we all disciples, okay? We all in a fucking game. We all to see who's going, who, who's going to shoot sides, bro? Who, who, who's going to do or die, bro? Acts 2, 38 through 39. It's like fucking games you play in fucking elementary. The Holy Spirit is the gift of forgiveness. He comes before us. Uh, he, he, he comes because of Jesus' restoration, pouring our love into our hearts through forgiveness. He does not empower us to live in the law, but rather in Christ's forgiveness. Our sins are forgiven, and we can forgive too. We, and we can forgive sins too. The free gift is forgiveness because Jesus is empowered by the Holy Spirit. But what happens if we separate forgiveness and the Holy Spirit? Then the law returns with works, debts, and a curse. Also, watch part five. I talking about certain people choose to come, and some choose some people choose to some people choose to come back, some people choose not to. And I say, if you over an age, you can't come back. Also, if you were born before ninety four, you can't come back. Okay. No longer forgiven. We seek to live right and demand that others do the same. Holy Spirit cannot be brought or sold. Only if I can come back is because she is my daughter. He is the free gift of Jesus. Promised by the Father. And I was cast into hell. And they don't want me there. But well, they kind of do. They, really they don't. Because I didn't do nothing wrong. They just going to turn me into a demon. But I mean, I don't want to be a demon. He is the free gift of Jesus, promised by the Father, and sent to because we are forgiven. Because I, I'm faithful to my God, you know. He served me. I mean, he don't serve me. He don't serve me. He made me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I can't just... I'm loyal to my people, you know. I'm loyal to my Most High, you know what I'm saying? You know, but, hey, when we forgive, I can be his demon for him, you know what I'm saying? Who I'm demon slayer. Anyways, when we forgive sins, we empower Holy Spirit to unlock hearts and save souls. The first heart he unlocks, it always minds. Okay, so hopefully y'all enjoy part seven. I'm out. Peace.